Okay, so in this video, we are going to learn how to find the equation uh, of a polynomial equation from a table of values. Now, the first thing you need to do is determine what type of polynomial equation it is, if it's linear, quadratic, cubic, or so on. So you want to start by doing first differences. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. Negative 7 minus negative 2 is negative 5. Negative 23 minus it's negative 16. I'll do one more. Negative 36. Now these are not the same, so the equation is definitely not linear. Let's try the next one over here. So my second difference is to test whether it's quadratic. So that's negative 5 minus negative 3, which is negative 2. Negative 11 negative 20. My second differences are not the same either, so it's not quadratic either. Let's try third differences, and this is going to be negative 9, so negative 11 minus negative 2 is negative 9. Negative 20 minus negative 11 is also negative 9. Now we could have done the last one over here. I'll do it really quick as well. It's not necessary in all cases, but if it was a quadratic equation, then you would have to do it as well negative 29 and there we go negative 9 so we know that this is the equation um, the third differences are basically the same so therefore it is a cubic equation and from this table of values I need to find this cubic equation now a standard form for a cubic equation is y equals to ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. The goal is to find a, b, c, and d in this equation and once I find those I found the equation for that table of values. So let's start with subbing in points from this table. I'm always going to start with x or y intercepts. They're the easiest points to sub in and get solutions. So my x is 0 and my y is five, 1. So if I sub in 1 over here, if I sub in 0 for x over here, this is going to be 0. This is also going to be 0. This is also going to be 0. And then I just have plus D. So basically 1 equals to D. I found my D really quick by subbing in my intercept. So Y equals AX cubed plus BX squared plus CX. And now instead of D, I have plus 1. My next goal is to find A, B, or C. So in order to do that, I'm going to sub in the next point in this table of values over here. I'll continue that down over here. So my x is 1 and my y is negative 2. So negative 2 equals, if I sub in 1, 1 cube is 1, 1 times a is just a. 1 square is 1, so that's just b. c times 1 is just c. And then I have a plus 1 over there. I'm going to move this plus 1 to the other side, so it's going to become minus 1. So that's going to become negative 3 equals to a plus b plus c. So now I have my first equation here. I can't really solve this because there's three variables. So I need to come up with two more equations. If you have three variables, you need three equations to solve it. So I'm going to go to my third point over here, 2 and negative 7. I'm going to sub it back into this equation here. So my y is negative 7. a times x is 2, so 2 cubed is 8, so that's going to be 8a. 2 square is 4, plus 4b, plus 2c, plus 1. I'm going to move this 1 to the other side here, so negative 8 equals 8a plus 4b plus 2c. Now I can divide this all by 2, you don't have to do it, but I'm going to do it, it's going to make the numbers a bit easier. So negative 4 equals to 4a plus 2b plus c. That is my second equation. Now all I need to do is come up with a third equation for this and then I can solve it. Okay, so let's go to my fourth point over here, 3, negative 23, and let's sub that into this equation. So negative 23 
equals 3 cube is 27 so 27 a 3 square is 9 so plus 9 B plus 3 C plus 1 now move the 1 to the other side negative 24 equals 27 a plus 9 B plus 3 C again I can divide these all uh, by 3 if I want to so negative 8 equals 9a plus 3b plus c now I have my third equation so now that I have my three equations all I need to do is solve them using substitution or elimination and then I'll get my solution and I can write my final equation with my a, b, c, and d. I'm going to do elimination here. I find it a bit easier. I'm going to start with these two equations right here. So negative 3 equals a plus b plus c. And I'll write this one above it. So negative 4 equals 4a plus 2b plus c. I'm going to subtract these two equations to eliminate the c. So I'll put a subtraction over there negative 4 minus negative 3 is negative 1 that's 3a 4a minus a 2b minus b is b so you do need to know how to do elimination or substitution to solve this so I've got my next equation over here with two variables and I used those two to get that now I'm going to use these two equations here to get my next one so let's go negative 8 equals 9a plus 3b plus c. That's this equation. And I'm going to write this one below it. Negative 3 equals a plus b plus c. And again, I'm going to subtract to eliminate c. You always have to eliminate the same variable when doing elimination in both equations. So if I subtract this, negative 8 minus negative 3, that's negative 5. 9a minus a is 8a and this is just 2b okay now I have two equations two variables again I'm gonna solve this using elimination we can use substitution as well so with this equation over here so negative 5 equals 8a plus 2b for this equation if I want to get the b's to match I need to multiply this equation by 2 so I'm going to multiply this equation by 2 I get negative 2 equals 6a plus 2b I'm going to subtract again to eliminate b negative 5 minus negative 2 is negative 3 equals 2a that's eliminated if I divide by 2 on both sides I get a equals negative 3 over 2 Now that I've found A, I can come back here and I can find B by subbing in A here. So negative 1 equals to 3. A is negative 3 over 2 plus B. Negative 1 equals negative 9 over 2 plus B. If I move this and change it to addition, that's negative 1 plus 9 over 2, which is 7 over 2 equals and now I can go back to this equation here I can pick any three I'll pick that one that's the easiest I'm gonna use that to find C so negative 3 equals a plus B which is 7 over 2 plus C negative 3 equals negative 3 over 2 plus 7 over 2 is just 2 plus C if I move the 2 here, that's going to be C equals negative 5. Now that I've found A, B, and C, I can just write my final equation over here with the A, B, and C. So Y equals negative 3 over 2 X cube plus 7 over 2x square minus 5x 
plus 1. That's my A, B, C, and D.